name's Jock McKenzie, I'm the director of Mangrove Watch, uh, and also heading up this project here with um, Ref and Wetland Care at Bremner Road, where we're trying to restore a salt marsh site that's been uh, heavily degraded by vehicles. So over here we've got a disturbed salt marsh area, and uh, to my left here we have a healthy salt marsh area. So the objective of this program is to see what the different types of vegetation are in both the sites, whether different types of fauna are using the two sites and whether the different sites have different functional values and ultimately we want to test whether the disturbed site has lost ecological function because salt marshes play uh, a number of different um, important roles for the coastal ecosystems and for coastal communities. Uh, the first and most important one for most people in southeast Queensland is that they're really important fish habitat. The second one is that they uh, help improve water quality values in uh, Hayes Inlet so they filter nutrients that come off the land and uh, store sediment. And the third one is that they're really important for carbon sequestration. So these ecosystems help buffer our carbon exports because they're constantly depositing carbon into their sediment and exporting it off with the tides. It's really important that we restore this area so we can bring back the ecological function because um, if we don't do that, then we've lost an important ecosystem. And the way, what the objectives of this project are to see what needs to be restored and how we might restore it to bring it back so it looks like the salt marsh to my left there which is a nice healthy functioning ecosystem. And uh, the other objective of this program is to serve as a, it's a best practice for salt marsh rehabilitation in southeast Queensland and other places where there's subtropical and tropical salt marsh. Very little research has been done on this type of salt marsh so we need to understand how we can restore it and um, also, in terms of that best practice, how we can use the community to help collect data that is useful to scientists like myself in that restoration process. And we're going to use this program called Ecological Mangrove Restoration, salt marsh, but we're using a mangrove program which is about restoring the conditions so that plants can naturally establish. And hopefully, we'll have something great for the future.